tonight on Tabletop Commander. That dude Jeremy from Unsleeved Media got banned. Hi everyone. Uh, so in case you haven't heard, uh, my fellow YouTuber uh, Jeremy from Unsleeved Media slash MTG Headquarters uh, got the big ban hammer from Wizards of the Coast uh, supposedly for having harassed a cosplayer, I believe she was, and I just thought I would uh, weigh in on it because uh, why the hell not, right? Everybody else seems to have an opinion, so I'm putting my opinion out there too, and here it is. Now, while I do not condone anything he might have said uh, to, to this woman or anything he might have done, I'm just going to say that it was completely inappropriate for Wizards of the Coast to act on this. Now, I don't yet have the entire story. Uh, all I have is what people have been saying against him and what he said in response. So the whole story isn't quite out there yet. But basically, uh, he said some stuff about her on Twitter. And she didn't like it. And she felt uh, she got her feelings hurt, I guess. And... Wizards uh, turned around and banned, it, banned him for life, which I honestly didn't even know was a thing. Uh, took away his MTGO account uh, and <laughs> pretty much ruined him because uh, his channel was all about going to uh, pre-release events and getting product and... Uh, coverage of events and that sort of thing, and now he is not even allowed to go. So, it was a little extreme, but that being said, also, uh, it had nothing to do really to do with Wizards, and I think it was inappropriate of them to act on it uh, when it really didn't have anything to do with them. Basically, these things were said on Twitter and on Facebook or social media or whatever, so, uh, it's between Jeremy and this cosplayer and whatever social media outlet this was set on and has really very little to do with Wizards. Um, and to me, that's like, um, that's like you saying something to your friend on, on, on Facebook and you're getting expelled from school for it or uh, losing your job over it uh, just because of something you said to a friend on, on social media. Uh, it's it's it really has nothing to do with wizards, so I don't know why they made such a big uh, a, a big deal out of this. And and what really gets me is they said that he's not allowed to appeal this, which to me uh, that's like them saying that they were in fact wrong uh, because they don't want him to to defend himself. They're just saying this is it and end of story. Uh, that's like. You losing an argument, and, and instead of saying, okay, you know, uh, you're right, uh, just yelling something crazy and then storming out of the room, uh, like, so, really not, not an appropriate action by them. It was a little extreme. Uh, I could have maybe understood, uh, a three-month ban or a six-month ban or, or, or something along those lines, but Lifetime and confiscating his uh, his Magic Online account was just way, way too much. And uh, t to be honest, uh, this this cosplayer has, has put herself out in the public eye, and as someone who, who, is, who is a YouTuber and in the public eye, uh, maybe not... As much as she is, but this is not the only. This is not the only account, uh, YouTube account that I run. Uh, people on the on the internet are dicks. I mean that that's that's all there is to it, and and they're gonna say stuff. And if you're if if you're in the public eye, then people are gonna say stuff about you. People talk smack about celebrities all the time, and these celebrities don't go and cry to mommy and daddy wizards of the coast about it either. Uh, they just acknowledge it as part of the job and ignore them because some people on the internet are dicks and that's just the way it's going to be. There's nothing you could do about them. Uh, they're dicks and you need to ignore them. Just acknowledging them just gives them more power. That That's all it does. So 
uh, if if she wants to be in in the public eye and uh, parade around in costumes in, in front of hundreds or thousands of people, then she just needs to accept that not everybody's going to like her and not everybody's going to uh, say nice things about her all the time. Uh, it's just the way it is. On my channel, you know, they they uh, my other channels they they say crap about me, and you know what? It's it's just crap. It's crap said by morons, and, and that's all there is to it. So she needs to grow up. He needs to stop s talking smack about people on social media, acting like nothing is ever going to happen, because guess what? It does. Uh, freedom of speech uh, is not freedom from consequence, uh, unfortunately. Uh, if you say something bad about somebody, uh, that somebody... Uh, can can do something about it. Freedom of speech is only protection from the government. It's not protection from other people. So, if, if you want to call someone, uh, you know, call, call someone out on social media, and then they retaliate, you can't be mad because you went and caused it. So, both sides were wrong, but wizards really did go overboard on this whole thing. So. Uh, hopefully, uh, Jeremy will, uh, be smart and lawyer up and, uh, get, get this thing resolved because, uh, I'm sure he's gonna because otherwise his, his whole, uh, career as it stands is pretty much in ruin. So, uh, that being said, uh, let me know what you think in the comments below. Uh, I'm sure there's people on both sides of this argument and, um, have a great day.